So hey guys, I am back with another video. Today's video, I will be doing the first paycheck in October for me. So if you guys, if you guys are interested in watching that, then stay tuned. So if this is your first time coming across my channel, hi, my name is Cheryl. I am on a financial journey to have a better relationship with money. So if you're interested in following me along, then make sure that you give this video a like right now and that you hit that bell so you're notified when I upload next. And let's get into the video. So we will be doing my paycheck for the first week in October, which I already said. Um, and for me, that is the 6th to the 12th. The other day, I dropped like all of like my planning stuff so i was a little bit irritated with that because it was like all over the place and so i'm still all over the place if you hear any noise my annoying nephew is in the kitchen with his toy that he likes to bang as well as his ipad that he likes to watch his um I don't know what kind of damn what these kids be watching nowadays on here. As long as it's not Jeffy, because Jeffy child, if you got kids and your kids is watching Jeffy, make sure you listen to too. Cause Jeffy be saying some shit. Um this new thing now is I think it's like from a game, but it's like zombie heads in the toilet. <laughs> At this point, I don't know why that is appealing. But it is so. That's how we're going to leave it. So I'm just laying down my little washi as well as my headers. Where's my pen? It's right here. And let's go ahead and get into the budget so it's not something long. So we are working with my full um, salary income. So we're going to go... I'm going to just put job because it is what it is. And we are budgeting for $1,062 this pay period. And we're not putting any variable income here at all um, because we won't be getting paid out in this week. Probably won't be getting paid the full thing out till. Well, I won't transfer anything to like the full week. Oh my God. I have been working really hard um, to make sure that I stay consistent and get like my videos together. So hopefully you guys appreciate that i don't want to try to upload every day the only reason why i probably was uploading every day before is just because um i was behind um i'm trying to get into like a good schedule so i can do everything that i want to do so we'll see but let's start with the bills, a.k.a. Adulting 101, something that I don't want to do. Okay, so I'm sorry, I just saw the American Harbor story that has Kim Kardashian in it flash up across um, my TV and it distracted me for a minute because I was like, what the hell? Um, okay, so starting off with rent. We are going to be putting away $206. So I did up this just because before I was putting 205 and I always ended up a little tiny bit short. Um, and that was okay because um, in other categories, I was a little bit over. But I'm trying to just get this budget down to the T. So we ain't going to be doing that. So 206 um, is what we will be stuffing for this week. The next bill is going to be my cell phone which is going to get 25 dollars now i did decrease this just because i noticed um last month that i had way too much money in 
and I think my actual cell phone bill is only $90 now when before I was budgeting for like $130. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Subscriptions is going to get $38. As well as New Jersey Transit is also going to get $38. And then we have my PS ENG bill, which now that I'm thinking about it, um, I owed somebody to pay, but because I think I have like a um, auto pay on it, it won't let me pay the amount that I still owe. So I think I actually need to go online because I was trying to pay it from my app. Um, And that just reminded me. But Leia, which is my daughter, is actually getting her $25 allowance for the week. Um, I really need to remember to put... I guess I could put it a little bit down, but I just always feel like it doesn't... It looks like all center for me. But I'm going to grab my calculator... So I can go ahead and add this up. It's 372 to my cash envelopes, aka my variable expenses. Okay, and I'm gonna put that over there. I don't need this anymore. And for eating out, we will be budgeting $25 for household. We will be budgeting $25 again for food. We will be budgeting 62. And if you guys are wondering if this is like your first time watching this or any, you know, your first time coming across my channel, I'm a month ahead on my bill. So they are stuffed um, a quarter of what is owed for the month as well as my... Um, as long as my... As well as my cash envelopes. So beauty is going to get $12. I've already done my eyebrows. Um, so that's not a big thing for me to get done. Planning. is also going to get $12. Laundry is going to get $12, which I was going to go to the laundromat. And I know y'all tired of hearing me like, child, you always say you're going to the laundromat. Honestly, I was, but then it started raining. It looks like it stopped. So probably still I'll be going to the laundromat. I have time. So even if I don't go today, tomorrow is definitely a go. Allowance is also going to get $12. And then last but not least is going to be travel, which I give myself $12 for just in case I want to take like a Uber. It's very rare that I do that. The only time that really happens is on Thursdays when I get off work a little late. Lately, I've been a little bit lazy, so, but we're going to cut that out. And then we will be adding an unbudgeted section. but we will not be you know adding any money there that's just a placeholder for anything that i don't have in my budget that i use so now we're going to break up the line and we're going to budget out um what we have. Oh my God. 
I don't know why that looks so thin, but before I do that, let me add up my variable expenses. So we have 25 plus 25 plus 62 plus 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 is 172. I like to add this on camera just to double check my numbers, but yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into our savings that we will be doing for the week. And let's see. So we have sinking funds that we will be stuffing. So the goal is to stuff $400 in the sinking funds for the month. Um, and we will be stuffing half of that. Technically, I could do a quarter, but I like to get the sinking funds um, out the way. I don't really like to draw that out like that. And sinking funds is going to get $200, especially since my numbers was kind of off for my sinking funds. So we'll see. The next challenge that's going to be... Well, the next uh, saving challenge I'm going to be doing is the October um, challenge, which is going to get $23. Then we have my 26-week challenge, which is aka my Christmas challenge, and that's going to get $43. Then we have the 5K. Oh. I'm going to say 50K. Child, we ain't trying to do 50K. 10K, which is going to get $200. Now, my numbers, I'm going to be honest, is going to be off this week only because for some reason when I calculated my bills, it was, a, it was over. So, I didn't stuff as many challenges as I should have because I thought I didn't have the extra money to do it um so we'll see here but let's go ahead and add this up 100 is 466 yeah I'm tired so if we add all of this up it's 10 10 that we will have that will be stuffing. And if you take that from 1062, that leaves me with a rollover of $52. Um, so that is the end of today's video. This is the plan for this week. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you give this video a like right now and if you haven't make sure that you subscribe to the channel and if you have subscribed to the channel make sure y'all hit that bell so y'all can see when i upload because i be seeing the new people i don't be seeing the returning people i don't know what's that about but leave me a little hey girl hey in the comments let me know that you was here and i will see you guys on the next one bye